Hello everyone, this is Allison Gross, and welcome to more Let's Plays of old Apple games that I really liked. Uh, this one is a real classic. Um, if I can get it to work. Yes, okay, we are going to be playing Joust. Um, this is... Yes, I want to use the joystick. Uh, this is the Apple version, which... I think may even be older than the arcade version, perhaps not. Um, but anyway, this is us, like, we are a knight on an ostrich. And those are evil knights on buzzards. And I need to pause this recording. Okay, so unfortunately that recording did not pause properly. <laughs> and I randomly killed an enemy without even trying while it was paused. Uh, okay, so unfortunately that was actually bad because you don't get to see. So you have to hit them on the head and they drop this egg and then you pick up the egg. And if you don't pick up the egg, it's bad because it hatches and then you just get another guy you have to kill. Um, come, come back here. Uh, and then I just got killed again. This game is not going well, possibly, because I got a phone call in the middle of it. I don't need to be getting all these phone calls. So I'm going to have to splice this together because it cut off. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that. I used to be really good at this game. It's kind of embarrassing, actually, for me to play it now because... Oh, are these eggs... Sometimes this thing happens where the eggs overlap and you... Ooh, I thought for sure I was going to die. Nope, nope, there's an egg there. Okay, see, that egg just hatched. Um, the only other thing about this game... Okay, so next level you'll have... To, oh, that's the other thing about this game is Terry Dacky, that him right there. And I need to get away from you. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, he, uh, yeah, it's pterodactyl that flies really fast and kills you very easily. And kind of like the demon in Droll, if you watched that Let's Play, he's very difficult to kill unless you use a... Unless you know the trick. In Droll, you have to shoot the demon when he's at a very precise point in his jump. And in Joust, you have to spear the pterodactyl directly in his mouth. In either case, it's very difficult to do. Um, and it's usually better to just run away. Uh, so, as you can see now, the bridge got eaten away, and so if we are un not careful, we will fall in the lava. Ow! You're being fast today! Why are you coming so early? Like... He basically, I mean, he moves towards you, but he does it like... Oh, now there's an egg down there. And I have to not pick it up, because i got to lure him back up here. See, he's going to go here, and now he's up there. And I can go faster than he can. And die. And see, that egg hatched now. Oh, damn it. Then I'm out of lives, basically. So if you get a certain number of points, you get another life. Which... Get over here, you moron! This is a game that I like because when you get really good at it, it doesn't require a lot of attention to play. Like, there's not... Yes, Teriyaki wants attention today, doesn't he? Don't run into him from behind, you idiot. Okay, so I guess the best plan would be to lure him up to the top. And this version, unlike the arcade version, does not do the thing where, you know, new pterodactyls keep spawning. Come on, come on. He just won't come up here. Maybe the other guy will come up here. Finally! Oh, and now he's up here, so... 
You just won't cooperate, will you? Uh, uh, and I have a pop-up on my computer that's blocking my stopwatch, which is problematic. So I have to say, I mean, I really like this game. You know, like I said, it doesn't take a whole lot of attention to play when you're good at it, which I unfortunately am not right now because I'm horribly out of practice. But when we were, like, in high school, my best friend and I would just sit there and play this game for hours and, like, talk about stuff because we didn't have to focus on the game. We would just, you know, and we, <laughs> uh, we would, like, all trash talk each other and be like, I'm at a higher level than you, and I probably shouldn't be standing there. Come up here, Pterodaki. Come on. Thank you. And he vanishes. Oh, and so now this is the wave where the hands appear. You see they're sort of turning in the lava. These hands will come out and grab you and try to pull you in if you are not careful and you get too close. And they'll grab the other guys too, but they never get pulled in. See, that guy's getting grabbed down there, but he's not going to get pulled in. Sometimes, oh, I can't believe I survived that. Sometimes it does help you because they can't move around while they're being held, so you can kind of hover over them and pick them off. He, okay, this is like on an ultra fast timer. What in the world? I mean, not that I can't handle it, of course. I haven't even killed any of these guys. What? No, no. I, I mean, it's it's not like I can't handle it at all. No. Yes. Thy game is over. Okay, let's... Let's, uh, just... Do this one more time. Buzzard bait. Oh, hello. I used to have this whole strategy where I would, like, know which platforms they were most likely to appear on and, like, hover over to pick them off. Sometimes I could just, like, like the first wave I could pick them off before they even got airborne. But what I wanted to say is that, it, I mean, I suck at it, but I'm actually a huge fan of Joust 2. I think it's an awesome game. Like, I think the uh, the music and the graphic design and stupid pterodactyl um, and everything are just completely awesome. I feel like I, I need to say this because a lot of people are really down on Joust 2. They say it's a horrible game and they hate it. Like, people who like the original. Um, one of the things that they... Don't do that! You know, that you can morph into a horse, which is... Like, the horse is bigger and heavier, but... It doesn't fly very well. Oh, I wish I could pick them both off. Ugh. Okay. Um. And that's a game that I really love, and I would just love to show off. Yeah, it took him a while to disappear there. Unfortunately, two things. One is that I just died. Um, one is that uh, it's a really, really hard game and I suck at it. So it wouldn't be very easy for me to show. Like I'd have to practice a long time to try to get good at it, which I never have been um, because I didn't discover it until I was in college and then I didn't have like people to play video. Oh, that egg is still down there people to play video games with the same way I used to like when I was growing up so I haven't practiced it nearly as oh I knew that was going to get me killed um and the other thing is there's there isn't like an apple port of it there it's as far as I know it's arcade only 
I know that, like, I think the GameCube had this release, this disc that was a release of arcade games that had Jazz 2 on it. Um, but I don't know if I could record from that. I used to have an arcade thing of it somewhere. But, uh, it, um, so I would, I would consider that game absolutely awesome to show off. And like I said, I just, I love the game design and, well, the, the visual design and the feel of the game and stuff. I don't like the Joust, uh, the arcade version of Joust 1. It, like, I also suck at that because I'm so used to playing the Apple version and it handles differently. Like, the bird doesn't fly as well and he's harder to control because he has this weird sort of reverb thing where he bounces off of stuff. Okay, that was just stupid. All right, let's let's try this one more time. Probably I will die quickly. Um, something else I did not love related to this game was the joust uh, thing in Warcraft. They had this thing where you had to fly around on a bird and hit other birds, and it was supposed to be like joust, but it sucked and I couldn't do it. I had to make somebody else do it for me because, or actually no wait, I didn't have to make somebody else do that for me. I did it. It was just really, really hard and annoying and I hated it. Joust does not belong in three dimensions. Actually, my opinion is that most games do not belong in three dimensions. Load Runner, for example, does not belong in three dimensions. Um, See, we're, we're getting better here. We're getting better. I really want to get to the egg wave so I can show that off. I used to love egg waves. I thought they were awesome when I was a kid. This is really bad. Like, we've only, like, the furthest we've gotten is to, like, wave four or something. Wave five is the egg wave. Um, and I used to be able to get to, like, wave 12 or 13 or something. And so, obviously, like, very, very out of practice. Now, this is bad because I can't, like, cut my video. Like, I can't pause the game to cut off my video. As far as I know, maybe this spacebar pause it? No, there appears to be no pause to this game. Which means... Oh, which means there's going to be an editing issue here, which I'm not sure how I'm going to handle. Or I could just die really quickly, which isn't going to happen, but... Okay, I've got one minute. I need to figure out this thing. Oh, you can pause it. But I'll wait to do that. Come here, guys.